everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over today's pretty massive uh, NHL slate. And uh, it's probably going to get a lot of attention because the NBA slate is really small. Uh, only three games over there. Pardon my voice, still getting over a cold, but uh, we'll do the best I can. Um, and the process, as we've been uh, following, is first we're going to start with the team totals as our, uh, excuse me, as are implied by, well, they're implied by Vegas, but I'd like to start with the projection models and how they come up with the team totals. And just to give ourselves an idea of what teams uh, we think should be well projected because, you know, the most likely correlative uh, factor in fantasy points is goals. So let's see what teams rate to score well. And then, we're going to take a look at the projections that we have up on TrueDFS.com, which combine other models and a little tweak and a little TLC, and we come up with it. And then we'll try to build a lineup with those projections. And then after that, we're going to use Saberson to build kind of a portfolio of lineup to kind of test our work and see what MME-type builds are, are different than single-entry builds, for example. All right, so let's just take a look. We're first looking at Saberson's uh, approach first. And I mean, with the team totals, and you see Florida really kind of stands out here. I mean, Florida has a 4.2 team total and nobody else is at four. You have Edmonton, who are favorite at three, nine. You have Ottawa at three, nine. You have Washington almost at three, nine. Um, so Florida certainly rates to be the best with Edmonton kind of trailing a little bit behind along with Ottawa. Sorry. Uh, however, Sometimes we get some discrepancies on other sites. So Daily Roto, they have Ottawa to four as well. Um, they have Florida as four also. And let's see who else we have at four over here. They push Tampa Bay up to four. They have Edmonton as four also. So pretty much the same cast of characters except adding Tampa to the mix. So we're in Edmonton, Tampa, Florida, uh, and Ottawa. And a little bit of Washington as the main the main uh, team so far. Uh, let's look at uh, one other source. We'll look at Daily Faceoff, and they have the Lightning uh, up at the top at four, uh, along with the Panthers. They don't have Edmonton. They have Edmonton all the way down at three five, which is interesting. Um, so the one team that's showing up on all the models as being you know the highest team total would be the Panthers. So that's what we're going to expect to you know, to, to be reflected the projection so much. But once again, this is a, you know, a salary-based sport. So just because a team projects to score a lot of goals doesn't mean that the players are priced in a way that you can play them. So we're going to have to see. Um, so let's uh, pull this up. Let's pull up uh, my projections, which again is kind of a cool combination of different other different models and put together, I think, in a pretty intelligent way. And we're ranking them again by sheets value score, which is my um, my best guess of how you combine both points per dollar and uh, raw points and salary and things like that. So what we're trying to do again with this this approach is literally just we're not going to optimize, we're not going to use a calculator, we're just going to gaze at the, at this list and hope that you get guys from the same team that are ranked high because again, hockey is a huge correlative sport. You got want guys on the same line. You want guys that are passing to each other. It's, it's, it's a sport like that. So with any luck, you get guys that are rated high all near each other uh, near the top. And hopefully they are on the same team and hopefully they're on the same line. And you'll see in, in columns K and L, we have the even strength line. Sorry and uh, the power play line is well listed. So the first thing I'll look at, just get, just really just close your eyes and quick, boom, take a look. All right, well, you have Florida, top guys at the top, and you have Kachuk, who's right here also. So you have two within the top 10. Then you have Ekblad down at number 16. So as the implied team total seems to suggest, uh, Florida is in play and they're very playable because you have these three guys all rated pretty highly on this kind of value score. 
Um, next thing I'll notice, let me see, is, is that I don't notice much, right? I mean, you have a single Washington guy. No, that's not true. So you have three Washington guys all in the same glut, right? You have Ovechkin, Strobe, and, and Parson. Three guys in the top 20 all on the same team. So Nashville and Florida look to be two got two teams to look at. And then you have the other Kachuk. You have Brady Kachuk on Ottawa, who the only other Ottawa guy is here. So only two Ottawa guys rate the top 20. So maybe they're not quite as good. And I'm getting nobody from Edmonton in the top 20 except for McDavid. So it looks to be some combination of Florida and Washington is going to make sense. Another thing to kind of look at is see if anybody has an extraordinarily strong value score. And the answer is no. Uh, it's pretty spread out. Usually you can find really good one-offs when you do stuff like that. Um, so I guess what we should do is just pull up a DraftKings lineup, uh, DraftKings uh, lineup build, and just see which builds easier, Florida or Washington or both. And, you know, maybe we can hand build right on the spot. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that you want to find a cheap goalie that projects well. And fortunately, we have uh, uh, Hellebuck. He's actually my top projected goalie, and he's 7,500. So let's start by doing this. We will pull up a uh, line up here. We'll start with Hellebuck so that we don't forget. Put a goalie in. And we'll start with either Florida or Nashville. Let's just start right at the top. Let's start with Florida with these guys that we mentioned and see how hard it is to build. So we'll start with Barkoff. And then we'll play. Oh, you know, we got to make sure of. Let's make sure that these guys are in the same lines or at least close. Barkoff is 1 1. Kachuk is 1 1. And who's the other guy we had? Ekblad is 1 1. So that's perfect correlation, whether they're on even strength lines or. Uh, on the power play. So let's put these three kind of kind of nut players in here kind of together. Um, now, you'll notice already that they are kind of expensive to put three of them in. Um, and you'd like to play more. So what you probably want to do is pick a fourth Florida guy. Um, but before we do that, why don't we try to get greedy? Let's put these Nashville guys in. I'd love to be able to play both Nashville and Florida. So let's see if this works. So I do recall some of these Nashville guys were cheap. So you have Forsberg, by the way, let's make sure that he is. Okay, he's 1-1. One, one. We have the other Nashville, Strom, who is 2-1, which is okay because it's a power play, um, and Parson. In. So, and these guys are cheap. So I think we can do this. So let's put in Strom in the center. We'll put in Ovechkin. And, oh, God, I don't think we're going to make it. 9k and then we have um who's the other washington guy we had oh no we weren't playing washington playing nashville excuse me it was nashville we were playing so we're playing uh forsberg and then we're playing Parson in. So it wasn't strong. I got the Nashville's confused with the Washington's. Crap. So it's not as easy as I thought. So it's just going to be basically you get two of the Washington's and two of the Nashville's. But just for fun, what what is what does that look like? I mean, this is not the typical type of construction I like I usually play, but I, I'd be Remiss if I didn't at least try this just because it will look so pretty if I can get it to work. Um, Washington, Strom, the other Washington was Parson in. So we'll put him in. Is it Parson in or it's Nashville? The WSH and the W and the, and the NSH are confusing me a little bit. Wait, is Parson in a? He's a center. Okay. So we do have Strom and we'd have to play Ovechkin and I don't think we can do it. Let's see. 
no, nah, it's, it's going to be way too much money. So this Washington is just not going to work just because Ovechkin is just too much. So we'll get rid of, of Ovechkin and Strom, and we'll put in Forsberg Fors, and Parson. So right now we have 3-2, okay? And we have 42-33 left. So I'd like to get somebody from Nashville and or somebody from Florida in here. And he's got to be on the first power play of either of these teams. And he's got to be cheap. So let's see what we can come up with here. All right. Let's, uh, you want to sort by team now? Let's sort, let's sort by team. Let's look at uh, Nashville. Well, let's look at Florida first. Florida on the power play. Well, these guys are going to be too expensive. So it looks like the Florida guys are just too much, unless we play Josh Mahura. So we have Josh Mahura or Mark Stahl. I have them both have the, on the first power play, which is it's a little annoying. I have all these guys on the first power play. Maybe, maybe I'm looking at something wrong here. Let me see what it says on some of these other sites. Let's go to uh, Daily Roto. They're pretty good with the power plays. Let's pull up, uh, was it Nashville? Yeah, I don't know why I'm not getting them. Um... I got to look at why, I'm, why my power plays are off. We'll, we'll fix that in a few minutes, I guess. Huh, sorry about that. So on the Nashville power play, we want to play Parson and he's there. And who's the other Nashville guy we had? Forsberg. Let's make sure he's there. He's there. So who else is cheap that's legitimately on the first power play line? So you have Novik is 4K. That's not bad. Then you have Johansson, who's 3,800 at center. So Johansson... Or Novak. Let's see how either of these guys project. Let's see. Johansson. That's not bad. It's over 20. And Novak is a little worse. So let's put in Johansson. Johansson over here. So now we have three Nashvilles, three Floridas. And let's go back and see which of those Florida guys are actually on that power play. And I will definitely be fixing these power play lines. Uh, where's Florida? Florida. Um, I guess neither of those cheapos. The closest thing I can come up with is Reinhardt at 5,200. You really just got to go with the cheapest guy. Um, so Reinhardt at 5,200. Let's see. Well, first of all, we can use him. So we could play Reinhardt, and then we could punt somewhere at defense. I mean, it's not even that bad of a punt. Or instead of that, I wonder if it's better to make the four come from Nashville. So let's see what's 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 up in Nashville for one more guy from the power play over there. Mm. Oh, Novak again. So we could, we could try Novak also. Novak, Josie's going to be too expensive. So if we put Novak in instead of Johansson, what's the real difference? Difference. The difference is, wait, oh, Novak's a center. We can't even do this. Yeah. So, well, what's Parson in? Is he a center as well? 
you know, so we can't even do this. So what we'd probably end up having to do if we were going to be really good hand builders is go back to um, the Florida guy who was Reinhardt, and then find the 3,700. So what we would do is search for defense. Now I'm really annoyed about these power play lines in my sheets. I got to work on this. Uh, hopefully by the time you even watch this, I'll fix it. But no, it'll probably be later tonight. Um, so what I would do to find a defense is literally just go by position. And then just see if there's any good 3,700s. And, oh, look at that. Like, I mean, you could, you could play him, but then you'd have to go one off somewhere else because you can't, you can't play perfectly, you know? Um, but I did find somebody that I like that I could put in here pretty easily. So that's that's what I would do, and I'm not going to keep this. But um, who's that Bjork guy? Who always play. He always shows up as a good one-off. Yeah. So you you can you can do this if you want to. Okay. So it is a little bit of a struggle, but you can find a good one-off, a good uh, single entry lineup with just the, the the two main stacks that you're looking at. But the way that was kind of a struggle. Um, and again, everything's going to change when they change the lines on me and guys get ruled out or whatever it is. So this is really early in the day. Anyway, let's uh, go to Saber Sim and let's see if they can't just, if the Saber Sim uh, builder can't give us a little bit better look at what's going on here. So I'm uploading my projections to Saber Sim and it's going to do its thing, which is basically just take the projections I give it and and make some hopefully high upside lineups so that what Sabersim does is they take into account the correlation of the players and and what types of lineups are good upside lineups and and depending on on the sliders you put in and I'm just using the default sliders builds you good GPP lineups and you know if you if you don't know what you're doing um, and even if you do I mean you could you could use the SaberSim randomizer or optimizers to build you kind of lineups that give you a kind of a good sweat. So here I was afraid of this. So it's going to actually recommend to go the other route and to take the, the Washington and do start with the Dylan Strobe and go to the Washington builds, which certainly makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, that was the other team I was trying to fiddle around with. I just didn't think I could do it considering how expensive, uh, Ovechkin was, but apparently you could do it pretty easily to the tune of 50% of your lineups. Um, and then you'll see that Florida and Nashville do rate to be the next stacks, but but they they found that you could get, I guess because Strom is so cheap at 4,300 and, and Johansson is 3K, that you can make the rest of your lineup flow really easily. And I guess that makes a lot of sense. Um, so maybe, maybe that's right. Maybe you are supposed to do Washington in your single entry. But I think between Washington, Florida, and Nashville, you could you could put some good lineups together uh, on, on a slate like this. Um, that'll do it. Sorry, I just rambled a little bit, um, but I, I was distracted by the fact that my sheets are off, so I have to go back and fix them. But um, aside from that, I will be live a little later to go over some more stuff. Uh, until then, good luck, everybody.